For my expose project, I'm researching Asada Oleg Bala Shakur. She was born Joanne Dever Byron and married Joanne Chesimard. But instead of telling you boring facts like that, I can wrap you lyrics that I wrote about her life using the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song karaoke version. Now this is a story all about how Asada Oleg Bala Shakur turned out to be such an influential person just sit right there tell you how she became FBI's number one most wanted female. In Queens, New York, born and raised on the streets was where she spent most of her days. She ran away many times from her own home, went to two colleges, and when she graduated, started using the name. A settled old boss, Corey, she joined the Black Panther Party in the BLA. She was involved in crimes upon crimes, and the court said, you've done too many crimes, now let's put you in jail. Now let's dive into the crimes. Now, what did she do? Rob banks, killed the popo, and drug dealers, murder, kidnapping, and the one she's most known for, the shootout on the New Jersey Turnpike of 73. Asada was arrested after being shot twice. Later, she was charged for a life sentence for murder. She was spent six and a half years in prison, then escaped and ran off to Cuba. In Cuba, she was granted political asylum. U.S. government couldn't reach her now. She was added to the FBI's most wanted terrorist. She was actually the first woman to be on the list. Asada's actions still live on today. She's an inspiration of Black Lives Matter. To never turn back, to never give up, groups chant her quote before movements. It goes, it is our duty to fight for freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. So yeah, Asada is still inspiration to lots of people. Her past makes her an important figure in the present. Her bravery and courage, and she was never scared. Now Asada's legacy can live on forever. Asada is still being remembered today, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement and especially with George Floyd's death. Her chant helps people remember that she was a fearless, powerful fighter and she helped change this world so much. It's a reminder to keep fighting and to not give up. And I know to never quit because Asada never did and she's living a great life in Cuba. But there is still a $2 million bounty for her and the U.S. has tried so hard to get her back in the United States, but Cuba doesn't let her, which I think is super cool. So next time your mom calls you to do the dishes or do the laundry, you can say that Asada isn't leaving Cuba, so you don't have to leave your room because your bed has political asylum for you.